It's a 10 minute stock, so Copilot in Power BI, uh, which uh, I mean, it's related to the functionality of artificial intelligence. So I uh, just try to give a brief about myself. So due to the con time constraint, I will provide my LinkedIn handle as well as my blog. Uh, I'm Rajendra. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer working for Microsoft as an external employee and uh, working as an uh, permanent with the Bosch client. Uh, I just like to come up with an agenda of what is a Copilot and uh, how we are going to create a report pages with Copilot from Power Bay services and brief like benefits, advantages of using this Copilot in Power BI, along with I'm going to cover the limitations and concentrations in Power BI. So if you're observing Copilot is an extra generation artificial intelligence. So it will try to understand the language, natural language, simple English. And those English, it will be just converted as per the backend data set, semantic modeler, as per the report and uh, table fails, it will be get generated the right way of inserts. I mean, like a right way of visualizations or right way of generating the info as per it. So it has been incorporated uh, in both Power BI as well as a desktop as well as services. So completely natural language process wise, it will understand what we are having to type the queries and the output will be get generated in the form of visualizations or even the complete pages also. So as I mentioned on Power BI services level, how it is going to work out. So if you have your semantic model, once you have we previously we were calling it as a data set, now we are calling it as a semantic model. Once it get published under the Power BI services level, we can see an option something like a, a create a report or auto creation of the report. So with the help of these functionalities, we can try to take the reference of the semantic model and generate and ask the questions or automatically it will be get created the complete report as per the backend data set itself. So before, if you want to get work on this Power BI Copilot, it has to be turned on this feature like, as I said, previous uh, 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 speaker set, uh, we need a license here. You have 64 or higher versions or even the Power BI premium capacity will work out, a higher capacitors will work out to make use of this Copilot activity so administration portal from there they have to enable this feature and we can start working on the power bi services level two if you're observing uh, i just added a snapshot a complete page report design on the right hand side the co-pilot feature so it will ask whatever the queries as per the data terminologies if we can try to ask the report outline and even the suggested pages and we can also incorporate the visual addition of the page tool tips. So it will be get added as per the backend reference of your semantic model. It will generate the complete page, one single page itself as a time. And if you want to get it generated the multiple pages, we want to make use of create the complete report activity so that as per the questionnaire which we are going to project it, the output will be get generated on the Power BI services level, like is a single page development or multiple pages as per the request. But the constraint here, we cannot able to select or else choose the visualization. So automatically a based engine, it will try to pick the visualizations and it will pop up and it will project onto the Power BI services level reporting layout. So we don't have a functionality, something like try to choose this specific visualizations or else something. So it will even it will not get added the filterations part two. And I will come up with an benefits. What are the benefits means? If you are observing, is a faster. Uh, I mean, maybe if you are trying to see the quick analysis, it's a faster insights. We can try to get it. And very simple language. We can try to project it, or else we can try to write. And output will be get generated onto the reporting level, either in the Power BI desktop or in the services part also. So both are in work as a preview feature on uh, Power BI desktop, even the Power BI services too. And for bar fast decision making skills, we can try to make use of this uh, copilot in both applications, services and desktop. And the summary report, we can try to build that very quick summary ad hoc report building. We can try to build it on by using this Copilot and Power BI. Coming to this limitations, as I mentioned, we cannot tell what type of visualizations that we have to pick up. That is one. And also we cannot modify once the output has been get generated, but we can add additional pages. That's what I said. So once the page has been developed, maybe if you want to get it added, the new page, it will be working out as expected. 
and choosing the visualizations tabs it will not project it like uh, type size resizing the visual or else a visual perfect so it won't it won't work out on the once the design has been completed and it will cannot understand the complex uh, text so we have to write it in a simple english like as i said generate a report based on this particular product category or else based on this pa uh, this particular segment wise this kind of an analysis it is trying to get it generated and copilot doesn't produce any messages so if you are trying to edit as i mentioned the slices or if you are trying to add it some new error messages so it will be get generated as an it will take some time as it has to be get processed and try to generate the output so if the complex queries has been assigned or else if you are writing so it will not get it added to your reporting part let me quickly showcase to you on the power bi desktop level how it looks like so here once if you can start working on the power bi desktop level we have to turn on this as a preview feature so options and settings files options and settings and options you can see here preview feature it is so please try we have to turn it on the copilot chart pane for the report view so if once you can try to turn on this we can start working on this as a copilot preview feature so you can see this option in this report view and even we can try to observe this copilot for preview here here you can try to see here so we can start even the dax functionalities too so automatically the code the functionalities it will be get generated we can try to make utilize this as per the requirement basis so you can try to type it here so as i said right so let me close showcase to you copilot for few features so as per the example i'll just try to ask some questionnaires related to it as per my data set contacts it will read and also we can say try to observe the output how it looks like or else maybe if you are trying to summarize the data we can see the output and we can also export this as an entity so we can see the information as well so you can see here if you are observing the output has been get generated maybe if you want to get it run and if you want to get it executed here we have a run option we can run it the output will be get added we can see the results also as per the query that x query which has been generated so on power bi desktop level here it is available and coming to the power bi services how it will be looks like so as i mentioned we need a premium per user capacitor a fabric f64 sqs is to be enabled so let me showcase you there one of the workspace i will navigate it so is a complete semantic model if you are observing on the three horizontal ellipse button if you can try to open it you can see two options create a report by taking the reference of the semantic model or auto create a report so automatically by taking the reference of the back end data set it will be get created i mean all the visualizations as per the page so as per the speed and the network bandwidth it will take some time to generate the report you can see it here i mean still if you want to get edit this report or else something if you want to get it added or else still try and has to be required so you can see the copilot option here so you can see it here so from here also we can start asking the questions or try to get added the new pages you can see this create a new page new report page or suggest as per the content for this report so these functionalities and features that are available on even in the power bi services let me showcase you one more thing already opened one second this is a part this is the manual create after the report so we can ask the questionnaires if you if you are observing these are the some of the questions which i have posted so automatically as per the connected data set semantic model it will ask us so what you want to create it as per the scenario 
as per the data sets which has been enabled so this is an auto created report sales performance page so maybe if you are interested to add few more pages on this reporting part we can try to add it to like additional pages too we can create it some same performance let me add it another So we don't have an option to change the slicer selection or else something background color, the visibility, as well as the color coding, everything will be an automated. So we cannot give the access or else something. So if you're observing, so we have to create some new page. So let me ask you here this. Test visuals generate. We can edit it and still if you want to get added some new visual addition or something we can make use of this copilot or we can just try to add the auto creation of the report. Yeah, see here geography based visualization has been added. So it's a simple English. We can try to test it and we can add the new visual panes or else new pages as per the requirement, not all the I mean, all the together we cannot add it. Like multiple pages, we cannot able to suggest by using co palettes in Power BI. So I'll just try to conclude. So as per the conclusion, as I mentioned, it's a still a preview feature. So as per the requirements, as per the semantic model which we are trying to use, and you can create the semantic model based reports and also the existing reports if it is available. We can edit it and we can pass the new queries new textual natural language queries and try to add the new pages as per the requirements and these capabilities are available only the read only mode and we can add the summarized pages as well so that's about uh, from my end mm -hmm.